Hey, this is Lotus Comic Express. We're here talking to William Raxdale, guys. My favorite all-time movie had to have been Mannequin 2. Absolutely. I love the character that was in that. Now, Fright Night, equally amazing. You know? Absolutely. Now, tell me, I'm just, just curious, how did you actually initially get into acting and film and all of that? Uh, I uh, I started acting when I was a kid uh, in a community theater in my hometown and uh, did plays and musicals and stuff growing up and uh, kept doing it when I went to college and then after we uh, got out of college and I kind of didn't know what to do. So uh, I went to California, to San Francisco and uh, got into an acting school there and uh, just started doing that and was very fortunate very early on to, to start booking some jobs. Well, as far as your acting, it's very inspiring. Like, I, I've, I've seen Mannequin 2, like, a thousand times. It's my favorite one out of the two of them. Oh, okay. And as far as, you know, if, within acting, and how many years have you actually been on, like, in, on set or been an actor or all of that? I started uh, professionally, well, uh, the first professional thing I did was uh, when I was 15 in a movie called Screams of a Winter Night, which was a... Uh, small horror movie uh, made in the 70s um, and then the, after I got out of school and really started at it professionally I was about 22 or so so yes, to 30 this movie Fright Night is 30 something years old so it's probably 32 33 years yes sir now as far as do you have a favorite kind of genre being that you've been in different genres at this point I like I like everything I mean I like uh, westerns and horror movies and uh, uh, mysteries and comedies and everything. I really don't really have a favorite. I, when I was a kid, I used to love the, the horror things because, you know, the, the Hammer movies and all the sort of goth, gothic horror kind of things I really enjoy. Dark Shadows and stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, as, as, far as, that, as far as the new generation of people that are just now getting into film, would you have any advice to offer the new generation of film students that are just now coming out? Yeah, get a Twitter account. <laughs> and uh, get social media and just be all over it. That seems to be uh, the, the you know the way to get to to uh, to get things going these days. So. Yes, sir. But yeah. well, have you enjoyed the weekend being in Dallas? And did you get to do anything cool and all of that? I uh, didn't get to do anything cool other than be here at the uh, Fright Bear uh, convention, but uh, which is cool in and of itself. But uh, no, we're sort of locked in here with uh, a lot of monsters and. Freaky people. So yes, sir. Did you, did you enjoy Texas Primary this round? Yeah, it's been great. We've had a great time. Everyone's really terrific there. Absolutely, sir. Well, we we really appreciate you coming out this weekend. You were actually one of the reasons why I why we initially right. came out. Great. I was looking forward to meeting you, well, and you. I know you didn't have a lot of time, well, but I really really appreciate you coming out, sure. man. I mean, absolutely. Pleasure. As far as any of your work, the newer stuff that's coming out for your for your own acting. Uh, do you have any newer stuff that's coming out that we can, like a fan site that we can go to as far as uh, initially supporting what you're trying to do? I don't have a site. I don't have a site, but I, I did a, a TV show called uh, Search Party, which is on TBS yes, from last year, and had a small recurring role in that, and uh, and uh, doing a, a movie of the week for uh, Netflix this week, coming this coming week. That is so awesome. Called Alex Strange Love. So. Uh, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for that one. Yeah, please do. Absolutely. Please do. So, uh, just out of curiosity, one last question for you, just kind of a wrap up. We always ask if you had a favorite superpower, which one would you choose? A favorite superpower? Yeah, like you could choose any superpower that you could possibly yeah. have. You know, there's always negatives and positives uh, to yeah. that power, but yeah. you have a, a power that you would actually choose. Uh, I might. Fly. That's actually mine, man. <laughs> Seriously. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's the one yeah. I always choose. Yeah, I, just fly. I would say go back in time, but that's not really a superpower. Nobody's that's true. Ever really done that, have they? Well, that, Any superheroes go back in time? Some, some. Superman. Cable. Cable. Superman. Huh? cable. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. cable from X Men. Right, okay. You know? So. Yeah, so there's some that actually do go back in time and kind of, you know, try to fix things right. and all of that, you know? Or right. Hero off of Heroes, the TV show. Right. You know? I think there ought to be like a maybe a chef superhero who can just like make something really good and delicious. That'd be really, awesome. You know, sort of. Seriously, that'd be cool. Blinking an eye or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good thought, actually. Oh. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time, and thank, thank you, you for being on the show. My pleasure. Thank Come you. Come check out LotusComics.com. We'll have some more information about Mr. Ragsdale's upcoming oh. cut, upcoming <laughs> upcoming stuff.
And we'll check us out at lowescomics.com, and we'll see you here real soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.